Hello people of the internet, Simon here again with another e-commerce tip, this time a Shopify tip and it's how to get rid of that pesky Power Buy Shopify link from the bottom of your e-commerce Shopify store. So there's two ways to do this and the reason that there's two ways to do this is that Shopify have two versions of their editor. They have an old version and a new version of the editor and because of that there's two different ways to do this and different files that need to be edited. So how do you know if you've got the old version or the new version of the editor? The first thing you need to do is go into the editor. To do that from in the Shopify backend, if you go into online store, once into online store, your first option will already be themes. And if you go into customize theme, once in customize theme, you'll know if you've got the new editor or not, because you'll be able to drag and drop elements within the theme editor. And if you can see those uh, eight dots at the side of these uh, uh, elements and you can click and drag and drop those, then that tells you that you have the new theme editor. Now let's look at the old theme editor. Pretty much the same apart from no drag and drop facility. So old editor, no drag and drop, new editor can drag and drop. Okay, so let's make the edits to the, to the theme. Uh, to do that, we need to go back, online store, themes but instead of using the customized theme we're going to go for these three dots and edit html css once we get into the theme editor this is where we can edit uh, lots of the theme template files we're going to do a search uh, for footer and uh, that's the file there under sections footer.liquid now this is the default theme that comes with shopify um, you, you there may be in a separate section for another theme, especially if it's a paid theme, um, but generally it'll be in footer.liquid. So once we're in footer.liquid, we need to do a search within this file. And the quickest way is uh, Mac, Command F or Control F on your keyboard will bring up the search. And if we have a look for powered by, and you can see it's found it there, powered by Shopify. So that is the part that we need to remove. And this actually appears in, in two places, so we need to remove them both. Um, the reason it appears in two places is there's options for enabling newsletter and uh, payment icons, so that this text actually moves in a different place. So wherever we see this powered by Shopify link, we need to delete the whole element. So I'm going to take out that whole line 163. Uh, the line might be different on your theme, might not be exactly 163. But I'm going to take that one out and then I'm going to do a search and look for the next one which is on 188. So I'm going to take the whole of that line out because that's the powered by link line. Save that and wait for confirmation. Asset saved and then we'll do a refresh on the site and that pesky powered by Shopify link will have disappeared. So that's how to do it on the new theme editor where you've got drag and droppable elements in your theme edit, theme customization. Uh, in the old one, pretty much the same. So we're in the HTML CSS editor, only the file is different. The file we're looking for is theme.liquid. Generally, that's the, the uh, file within the old templates where you will find this. Same method. If we do a, a search and we look for powered by link, so it's the same kind of code, but it's generally just in a different place. I'm going to remove the whole of this list item. List item is in LI. This is some HTML code here. I'm going to take it from the end tag and write to the start tag of LI. Get rid of that and save. Once that's save, you'll see it right there in the footer right now. Powered by. We'll do a refresh and that should disappear. Fantastic. So that's another e-commerce tip from me, Simon Vernon. Click like, click subscribe, and I'll be back with plenty more tips.